So in this recording we're looking at Edexcel S2, June 2011, question 3. And this, this topic is on continuous random variables. So figure 1 shows a sketch of a PDF of a random variable x, and we're told that between 0 and 3 f of x is represented by a curve with the equation kx squared, and between 3 and a it's represented by a straight line passing through the point a0, as in the graph. So we're told that the mode of x is equal to the median of x, and we're asked to find the mode. So firstly, again, we need to realize that the mode is the highest point on the graph, so the mode in this case is equal to 3, which will give you a B mark. We're then asked to find the value of k. Well, that's okay because we now know a lot of information. We know that the median is also equal to 3. Okay, so I know that this area here is 0.5 and I know that this area here is 0.5. So in other words, the area from 0 to 3 of kx squared dx must equal 1 half. Okay, so if I carry out this integration, this is going to give me kx cubed on 3 evaluated between 0 and 3, again, must give me a half. So substituting 3 in gives me 9k equals a half. So k must equal 1 18th. So four marks here. You're going to get a method mark for the setting up the integration, an accuracy mark for setting it to be a half. You're then going to get a method mark that's dependent on the first method mark and an accuracy mark for then calculating the value of k. We then need to find the value of a. So there's a variety of ways of doing this, but the easiest way again is to realize that actually on the right hand side the area must equal half. So this is a triangle. The height of the triangle, I don't really know. Um, so we need to figure that out from the first part. Okay, so the first part is telling me that I can evaluate when k is equal to 1 18th. So f of x is equal to 1 18th times by x squared. So when x is equal to 3, f of 3, that's going to give me a half. So I know that the height of my function is a half. So I now know my height. So the area of the triangle is a half times by the base times by the height, and that must equal a half. So calculating this through, it's going to tell me that th 3 minus a, or a minus 3, sorry, that should be, get it the correct way around, a is bigger than 3. So a minus 3 must in fact equal 2. So a must be 3. Okay, so to get these marks, I've um, got to work out the height of the triangle. So that's going to give me a B1 mark. Okay, and then we've got method 1 for working out the area of the base times the height, and then A1 for working out what A has to be. Sorry, 5 is what I said. Okay. So without calculating e to the x and without reference to the skewness of the distribution, and with reference, sorry, to the skewness, state whether or not the mean is less than 3, equal to 3, or greater than 3. Okay, so again, we're not expected to um, calculate this. But what I do know is the fact that a is equal to 5. So this distribution effectively has some idea of negative skew. The left tail is longer. Okay, if you think about drawing a graph over this of some description, we can see that the left tail is much longer. So this is going to imply for me that I have negative skew. Okay, so the marking here is it's a common marking. If you just write negative skew, you're not going to get any marks at all. We need the reason. Okay, so the first one is for the reason. And this way around prevents you just from getting a mark from guessing.